I want to show you guys how bad wear resistant nozzles actually perform. So this is showing you a micro swiss nozzle that I printed approximately 1.5 kilograms of filament through. Okay, so this is a micro swiss nozzle with no use on it. You can see the how the cone is supposed to be. It actually wore the cone down. Forget just the inside of the nozzle. This is a bridge master, which that's not wear resistant, so ignore that. Um, this is 3D Maker. This has kilograms upon kilograms through it of a uh, GF30. Nowhere. Vanadium nozzle over two years old. Same thing. Not one ounce of wear. And then, let's see. I have a Thetis nozzle here that printed probably two kilograms and it still looks okay but it ended up crapping out. So this is what a tungsten carbide nozzle makes the print look like. Let me bring it out a little bit. So that's pretty pretty good. This is what the Fetus nozzle looks like after it finished the second roll. Not that good. And this is what the Micro Swiss looked like after the second roll. Completely not presentable, not sellable. I mean, to be honest, the Fetus one wasn't sellable after the second roll. And I'm talking about a 750 gram roll. Two rolls. That's it. So, wear resistance, non-existent. The 3D makers are the way to go. I think DICE might have a tungsten carbide version for the Volcano 2. Um, but for regular E3D, you have to be careful because they are a little short. Um, for a dragon. Mosquito it works okay with. I have my dies on my mosquito right now. I can't find my other dies nozzle. I lost it, I think, after I did that other video. Um, but the 3D makers have seemed to be the go-to nozzles. This is a used, and this is the brand new uh, Micro Swiss. So you can see what... Um, 1.5 kilograms of filament, two rolls, GF30 though, it's very, it's like really, really rough filament. You can see what it did. It destroyed, destroyed the nozzle, and that's why that print was so unpresentable. And also something to keep in mind is just because the nozzle says E3D or MK6, whatever they want to call it, doesn't mean that they're all equal. If you look at the actual thread length, uh, like I had showed in that dice video, they can be different. Uh, some are actually longer than others, um, and someone made a good suggestion, which was sand down the block if it doesn't interface, but just something to keep in mind and be careful of. Um, some of them are slightly different length, so, I mean, obviously this is nowhere near accurate, and I'm talking about all that matters is like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 millimeters short, because the 7 millimeter spec is like on the button when it comes to a dragon hot end. Um, I believe the mosquito gives you a little more room to play. But, yeah.